Hi, it's Larry Herbeck, Xbox Live's Major Nelson here with Richard Irving from the Xbox Engineering Team. Richard, it's great to see you. Always great to be here. It's always great to have you on because you're talking about some good stuff. And this is really exciting because the preview audience is going to get their first look and hands-on with the new Xbox One experience, right? That's right. Uh, so the subset of, of preview members who have opted into this preview uh, are going to get the build that we're looking at right here. Now, I figured you can kind of walk us through and what we can expect in this because this is a little bit different from preview programs in the past, right? That's right. So this is a very big release for us, uh, driven by a lot of fan feedback. And so we want to focus that feedback in specific areas. Mm -hmm. So in this first release, uh, there's a couple of areas that we uh, we want the preview audience to pay attention to and give us feedback on before we go into the, the next wave of development. Why don't you tell us about some of the areas that we want folks to focus on? Uh, sure. Well, so the first thing is uh, the new home, which we've talked a lot about uh, between E3 and Gamescom. Uh, and like you said, this is the first time uh, preview members are going to be able to go hands on with it. And so what you're looking at right here is your new home on Xbox One. Mm -hmm. uh, and you'll notice if you keep scrolling down, uh, you'll get to your collection and your pins, uh, which is very important to our fans. Um, but you'll also note what is enabled right now uh, is the ability to quickly go between uh, the thing you were doing most recently and uh, your pins uh, by simply pulling the trigger. So I pull the left trigger and I go back up to the top or I pull the right trigger and I'm right into so you, my pins. So you can instantly snap to the top or bottom. So you can get to your pins almost a little bit quicker than before. Uh, that's right. You can uh, instantly get to them with uh, a pull of the right trigger. Thanks, Richard. Now, I know an area that your team is really excited about and the community is probably even just as excited about even or maybe even more so is, is the guide. Can we take a look at that? Uh, yeah, that's in fact uh, the big focus for this preview release is we've gotten a lot of fan feedback since we launched Xbox One that they want it to be faster to access their friends. They want uh, faster access to their parties. Um, and uh, the guide is we're bringing uh, to Xbox One uh, to help address some of those concerns. So uh, you already, uh, you've probably used the guide on Xbox 360 and that's how to think about the guide, the new guide on Xbox One, except we've completely reimagined it for Xbox One. So here, from, from the main screen, how do, or in a game, how do you get to the guide? Uh, well, so there's there's actually two ways because we wanted to make it easier to discover uh, the guide. So if you're not playing a game, or if you're just on your home screen, mm -hmm. uh, you can scroll to the left and it will instantly appear as an overlay. Mm -hmm. uh, and by default, you will see uh, your friends list. And so when you're in a game, uh, where you'll probably use it even more, uh, you just double tap the Xbox button and you'll notice it instantly loads with no waitings, no, no load times, no spinners, no splash screens. It's just right there. That's right. All right, so what, what are, let's walk through what we're seeing here and what we can do in the guide. Well, so by default, uh, like you see here, uh, you're going to see your friends list and it's sorted by your friends that are online and your friends that are offline. And so when you click through to one of your friends, you can see all the actions that are relevant uh, relevant uh, for them. So for example, you can send them a message. You could join their party if they were in a joinable party, uh, send, uh, send them a party invite, or uh, uh, deep dive and view their full screen profile. That looks great, Richard. What else can we see here? Uh, well, you'll also notice that you can uh, get a different view of your friends list now, which is uh, recent players. So we're bringing anybody that you, 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 you came across in different multiplayer matches, we're now bringing those right to the top here. That's right. Richard, parties are a big part of the Xbox experience. Um, show me where I find those in here. Well, there, so there's actually two ways that we've made uh, parties faster and easier. So the first is I uh, just showed you, uh, when you click through a friend on your friends list, uh, you'll see the ability to invite them to your party right there. Mm -hmm. What's cool about this is you can do that whether or not you have an active party already going. Mm -hmm. We automatically create the party in the background without you having to do any extra work, send that invite, and then your party is created uh, and just waiting for your friend to accept the invite so they can start chatting with you. Uh, but you've got a lot of people using Xbox One have been using Xbox One parties for a while. Uh, and so you can still get to parties that way, except it's now faster. Um, and so you'll notice uh, just below the friends list, uh, we have this party tab on the guide. Mm -hmm. uh, and from here, I can check my party status if I was already in a party, or I can just uh, click the start a party button that will start the party uh, with just me in it. Uh, and then I'll have an invite friends button, which when I select that, I can then multi-select uh, a bunch of friends that I want to send my send party invites to, uh, wait for them to accept and join. Uh, Etc. And this is all much, much faster, you'll notice, because now it's just double tap the Xbox button, 
uh, and go into the party areas again. No waiting, no load times, no splash screens, no spinners. You're right in. All right, let's keep going down here. Looks like we've got some messages. Um, again, this loads super fast uh, as part of the guide. Uh, you'll see a list of all of the messages uh, that you have in your, your message list, and you click through. Uh, you can see the chronological conversation history, which we introduced sometime last year, uh, and then you can uh, reply using text uh, or by sending uh, a voice message. Now, Richard, notifications were a big part of the Xbox One home screen. I, I don't see them here anymore. How do I get to my notifications? Uh, well, so they're, uh, they're a key component of the new guide. Mm -hmm. um, so, you know, the scenario was you're in the middle of a game, uh, you record a game clip, your friend sends you a party invite, something happens, but you can't step away from that multiplayer session. Right. And so we want to we wanted to make it really easy to get back to those notifications that you missed. Okay. So we made them an integral part of the guide. Uh, so you just double tap the Xbox button. Uh, you go down to this notifications icon, uh, and you'll see that rolling hi history of notifications that you've received. Now, one of the things I noticed right away here is that they're kind of they're they're grouped. That's right. So uh, uh, to make uh, better use of the real estate. We group notifications intelligently by, uh, by the type of notification they are, by the game they're associated with, things like that. Um, so when you want to get, get back to a uh, game clip that you recorded while playing a specific game, it's super easy to just glance at the list and see, see where that notification is. Now, Richard, a lot of what we're seeing here is based on fan feedback. Show, show me some of the other areas where fans had a real direct impact on the guide. Uh, well, you'll see uh, the settings area. There's there's some settings that are just super important to have access to while you're playing a game. Mm -hmm. uh, and so you'll see here, you can uh, modify your headset volume. You can actually mute the microphone uh, that you're using for chat. You can even uh, adjust the side tone, uh, which is uh, how much feedback you hear of yourself right. in your headset so that you know when you're chatting versus, uh, and your chat's coming through versus uh, one of your friends yep. in the party. And then of course that, that right there at the bottom is a direct link to the to all the settings. Yeah, and so you'll be able to access our redesigned settings area. We just wanted to make it really fast for you to jump through each of the categories and find the thing that you're, you're looking for. Uh, just scroll through that vertically. You'll see the categories update in real time. Again, no waiting, no spinners, nothing like that. Uh, um, it, to find the setting that you're looking for to, to accomplish the task that you want to accomplish. Now, Richard, I'm noticing everything for the guide is over here on the left. Historically, Xbox One, we've snapped apps on the right. So is th this is changing, right? Uh, yeah, that's right. Um, so you'll notice the, the last entry in the guide, the bottom entry in the guide mm -hmm. uh, are all of your snap apps. Mm -hmm. And so uh, you go here to find the app that you want to snap, but we've moved uh, the, the snap window uh, to the left-hand side of the screen. Uh, which we also received a fair amount of feedback on uh, just because it makes it more natural sort of as your eyes are shifting focus between the primary thing which is the game that you're playing and the secondary thing which is uh, your snap experience it's just easier for the eyes to make make that sort of adjustment all right richard thank you so much for walking us through this for more details go to news.xbox.com or my blog at majornelson.com thanks for listening